My name is Everett Ronero. I'm a left winger and I'm 14 years old. I got into soccer when I was younger, playing in like a Timbits league, and then just from there, keep on developing. And then I found out about the Edge School, and I got sent here and met with Coach Eddie down here at Edge. And from there, he said I had some potential, something different. And from there, I just kept on developing in my soccer until I'm at this point right now. It's been a, a, a solid three years. I've actually seen him improve. He's getting bigger, stronger, more skilled. Uh, becoming a, uh, a better leader as well. He's our, he's our edge captain uh, for the program. And, and again, he's, his, his willingness to learn is unbelievable. And that's one of my favorite things about him, that he's very coachable. The impact Edge has had on me in my development in soccer has mainly been character and attitude and definitely confidence. I'll say I've seen few kids with, with his uh, with his skill. It's hard to find uh, players that are self-motivated. First of all, I know Everett, he works harder. There's no secret to, to proper development, to becoming a great player, right? You learn the right things, and then you put in the time, and Everett, he's taking advantage of both. So you can look at a player like Cristiano Ronaldo, and you could be, oh, he's 10 times better than me. I'll never be as good as him or you can take it as motivation and be like, hey, I'm gonna get there one day. At the young age of 14, Everett traveled to Uruguay for a life-changing opportunity to train with the club of the century, Atletico Peñarol. The experience for me was pretty crazy, actually. For the first little bit, it was complete terror. Like, I was, I thought, because Eddie came down with me, so I was completely relying on him and he only stayed for one week. So the week he left, it was complete terror. Really a lot of the time is that you don't find the right players to send. Right? With Everett, it was, a, it was a special situation because I believe Everett's one of the strongest players that I've seen, especially for his age, uh, definitely here in Calgary. Um, and I just wanted to get him the right exposure. When they came to me with this opportunity, uh, the one word that popped into my head was relief. To know that I actually made it in the soccer community and that I'm actually being noticed for my hard work. As part of his farewell ceremony, the head technical director of Team Peñarol presented Everett with a signed team jersey. Only the second time ever a potential candidate has received this honor. I got a little speech in Spanish and got to shake all the boys' hands as I was leaving. It was just a great experience knowing that I left there accomplishing something and leaving my mark on the team. During his 45 days in Uruguay, Everett left quite the mark on the team, as he became known simply as Canada. The nickname that the guys gave me in Uruguay was Canadiense in Spanish, which means Canadian in English. Uh, I think that meant for me kind of just being a part of the group, that they were accepting me, which was pretty cool, and to have my own nickname and stuff like that, and to be represented by a, have a name that represents my entire country is pretty cool. Now he's returned home to Calgary and continues to train at Edge School with Coach Eddie. What does the future hold for Everett? There's a lot of great things for Everett. Everett, Everett is, uh, I'm gonna say he has a lot of, a lot of doors that are opening for him, uh, not only in South America, but uh, also in Europe. I would say what's next is going to Europe, meeting people down there, going to Europe, making it down there, and eventually getting signed to a professional team.